welcome back and welcome if you're brand new here it's lovely to have you this is going to be a sort of autumnal fall wardrobe transitional sort of haul in a way i've got a few new pieces collected together because i'm going on a few different trips to the more colder areas of the United States. I'm going to Boston, I'm going to Chicago. And because I do live in London as well, it's the kind of perfect time to build some new cool pieces into my wardrobe. And I've got a few really gorgeous pieces that I really, really wanted to share with you. As always, I like to share. So to be honest, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna call this video yet, but it's something along the lines of autumnal, transitional wardrobe pieces. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna kick this off with the very favorite piece out of everything here. I mean, I love everything, but these I am just so smitten with right now. And it's a pair of boots. These are a pair of Trasadi boots. The very first pair of Trasadi boots that I've ever owned. But, oh my God, have you seen these boots? Literally, I saw them on the website. I got them off Louisa Villaroma and literally was like this is autumn in a boot but it does show up on camera just how rich this color is it's almost like a burgundy brown stunning gorgeous suede the thing i really like about it is the stitching effect that it's got that goes around the boot just to add that little extra piece of detail and the heel let's just talk about its heel so it's almost like a tur tortoise a tortoise shell heel with a gold rim that goes into a horseshoe at the back when I got these from Louise de Roma, I didn't even realise it had that. And I was just like, oh my god, the heels are cool. And then as soon as it came and it had that, I was like, oh my god, even better than I thought. They're just, they're just super cool. I've already worn these to death. I wore these last week in Barcelona when I went on a L'Oreal shoot and ended up wearing them to shoot in. So I was wearing them all day and I've kind of worn them down a little bit, which I'm a little bit gutted by. But they have to be worn. They have to be worn. And I'm just truly in love with them. These are the perfect autumnal transitional piece. They're just a little bit more of a statement in the black boot in the very similar shapes that you know that I love to bits. Very similar shape, perfect tall ankle style. The kind of heel that I like to walk in. I could walk for hours in this kind of heel. They're quite comfortable to me because it's so thick. And this colour just screams autumn vibes. So just cannot wait to wear these much more over autumn and winter. Let's continue talking boots. Do you guys remember these bad boys? The Dolce & Gabbana that I bought last year well i have kind of pulled them back out of my collection and i'm making these my sort of autumn boot again the fact is they're an incredible incredible pair of shoes they cost me a lot of money and i don't want to just wear them one season and not wear them again and dolce and gabbana have ran this style of boot again this autumn so you can get pretty much the exact same boot but with a different type of embellishment on the back i think they've got almost like big large red roses and a few different types and i've worn these a few times recently and literally strangers have stopped me and said where are your boots from and it just sort of spoke to me and I was like these boots are seriously awesome I need to wear them much much more so I thought I'd mention them as the piece that I'm pulling back out of my wardrobe and pulling into my wardrobe transitional pieces and making much more use out of them for this season I'll leave some links down below of where you can find the new versions of these and for anyone that loves boots but wants something a little less high, I do like my high boots. These are a pair of Kurt Geiger boots and you might recognise them because they're very similar to another pair that I have in a suede. So they come in a suede and they come in a leather and the ones in leather come with this beautiful golden, it must be sort of a plastic, but it's a golden effect. It's almost like metal that's been bashed in with a hammer so it's lots of texture all over it. And a very cool Kurt, completely cylindrical shape. So they're just quite a cool little boot, you know. There's that little extra bit of bling on the heel just adds that little something something. And the overall shape is just so extremely wearable. I'll be getting a lot of use out of these, I am sure. You know that I do love my designer bags, but quite frankly, there are none that is going to be more perfect for me than my new Diorama bag. I know I've mentioned this a few times already, but seeing as this is all about autumn, I just want to mention the fact that this is literally going to be my autumn bag. Throughout autumn, I'm going to be wearing this all the time. I mean, the colour is perfect autumn shades. Autumn is so stereotypical as that sort of golden, burgundies, deep reds, deep browns, you know, that's the kind of thing we all associate with autumn. And therefore I'm just going along with the stereotype, but the fact is this is going to be the perfect, it's almost like an oxblood raspberry shade. Yeah, so if you see me round about, I'm probably going to have this bag on. Just a few uh, makeup options I thought I'd throw in here. Two things that I want to mention in terms of sort of the autumn lip this year for me. First one being this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is Vamp. I bought this so long ago now, and just completely forgot to wear it because I was into all of their nude shades. I was rocking the nude lip for ages, and I kind 
of just sort of put this in the back of my collection. I have a lot of different lipsticks. Threw it in there. And then the other day I was looking to do more of a deep lip. It was like, ooh, I remember this now. Put it on and it's so stunning. It's much more brown than red, I feel. This is so hard to describe. It's almost like a rusted red brown. I hope you can see that. It's very similar to the sort of flowers that I have just behind me. How pretty are these flowers by the way? So gorgeous. The links down below always. If you ever like anything in my background by the way, I always leave the links down below just so it's quick and easy. But yeah, stunning shade. And for the more purple shades, this is my one to go to right now and it's what I have on now. It's the Colorish Plum Gold Gold Obsession range from L'Oreal. Beautiful, beautiful deep plum shade. In fact, I could probably do some more right now. Like I've said it before and I'll say it again, the L'Oreal lipsticks, if you're looking for a affordable drugstore lipstick, you cannot go wrong with the L'Oreal lipsticks. They're so wonderful, so pigmented, not drying, really smooth and soft on the lips. They're just a really, really great formula. So if you're looking for some new autumn lips, these are my two go-tos right now. In terms of a pair of sunglasses, the one thing I'll be wearing the most this autumn are my brand new shades from Fenty. How cool are they, seriously? They're just so cool, they're huge. Massive cat eye effect sunglasses. I saw them in the airport the other week when we were on our way to the Maldives and I thought, go on, I'll treat myself and get a new pair so that I've got a new pair of sunnies to wear in blog posts. And yeah, I didn't take them off all the time we were there. They're not necessarily an autumnal piece, but I mean, what kind of glasses are unless they're like thick black, you know, and a bit darker. But for those last bits of wintry sunshine, autumnal sun, which is often my favorite when it's like a very kind of cold, feeling that stunning bright sunshine in your face that's kind of my favorite time of year I think perfect so I'm gonna be taking these with me on any other trips that I go on love those two pieces okay and just moving into some fashion pieces right now oh I can't wait to show you this actually this piece hello chunky cable knit I don't think this could get any chunkier and cable if it tried seriously it's insane I mean look at this neck on this this is part of the Tommy Hilfiger and Gigi collaboration range I saw this online and was like that is the best autumnal jumper I think I'm going to find I have to have it but it's cropped which is super cool it's a little bit different so with like tall high-waisted jeans perfect it's a super cool well this high neck it's so massively chunky, it's almost a bit of a neck brace feel, it's so big, but a seriously gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And it's probably not as expensive as you'd think with it being Tommy Hilfiger and a collaboration. I think it's about £155. I would have thought this would be a lot more to be honest because the quality is fantastic, it's Tommy Hilfiger. But I think it's probably that more, I think it's probably that more higher end piece that a lot of people will go for though this season because it is that statement cool cable knit that everyone always longs for and can't usually find in the high street. Yeah in love with this. In fact, there's a couple of knits here that I want to show you. Another one being this one that I picked up from Karen Millen the other week. Again, it's just a really easy shape, turtleneck, long sleeves, really beautiful soft knit fabric, not too thick, so it's a good layering piece over t-shirts, underneath jackets when you don't want to be too ridiculously warm. I mean, this is gonna be really, really warm. So I'm gonna have to be careful when I wear this. It's gonna have to be like freezing cold Icelandic style days. But this is more, you know, those days when it's a little bit breezier and you wanna throw it on with a jacket. But how pretty is this overall print? I saw it in the store, literally did a beeline for it and was like, this is just me in a nutshell. I love it. The last piece of knitwear is this one from All Saints. Again, it's a very different fabric though to the last two. This is a very woolly, textured wool fabric. Literally, how long are these? They're so super long, these sleeves, but it fits just really nice. I don't know how it always works. I always say this. Again, lovely turtleneck shape and a, it's not quite cropped, but it's not quite long. It's that kind of in between length. Now and again, I find myself pulling it down a little bit. Sometimes I find I've got like builder's bum as it's sort of ridden up and my, my <laughs> jeans are a bit lower if I'm sat down. So it's almost like that length in between, but I do love it so much that I can kind of get over that floor. But yeah, it's just a really lovely gray textured lovely jumper. Okay, two other pieces I thought I'd mention. Dresses, this dress. I wore this actually for Fashion Week. I got it from All Saints and I didn't realize I would love it as much as I actually do. It's a very, very easy wearable piece. The length of it means you could wear it casual and you could wear it more evening, it's sort of mid-length. It would be perfect with over knee boots. It would just look super chic. Same way that if you paired it with a pair of stilettos, it just look really cute, quite sexy. But with a gorgeous long coat over the top, it just sort of really transitions it up for autumn. So I'm a big, big fan of this. 
from All Saints. It's a really lovely material as well, soft material. And for a bit more of a classier kind of night out sophisticated number, I have another dress and this one is from Karen Millen. And you can probably tell what attracted me to it. <laughs> the whole um, lacy vibes. It's very kind of self-portrait, I felt. Very regal, majestic, lacy number. But it's so stunning, like these little sleeves, cuffed sleeves that lace out. And this lacy collar. It's seriously beautiful at the back as well, how it comes together up in the zip. Then it opens up with this lace. And then a little button here and another button here. So there's loads of little extra spaces where it opens up. It's just super sexy and it's gorgeous. And I wore it as the week for a Karen Millen event that I was part of where I had a meetup. So hello to any of you guys that are watching that saw me wearing this dress. I had so many of you compliment me on it. I thought the colours in this, the whole overall style just screams autumnal vibes. So I thought I'd let you know. And I have one top to show you, which is this absolutely stunning piece from ASOS. Literally, I would never expect ASOS to do anything like this. It's just so embroidered, embellished. So much going on, it's absolutely stunning. I wore this last week when I was in Barcelona for the L'Oreal shoot that I did. I took it with me, the stylist fell in love with it and I ended up wearing it. So you may see these soon on the L'Oreal adverts whenever they come out. This is what I was wearing. It's a little bit more pricey for ASOS. I think it's around 70 pound if I remember. I got it a few weeks ago now. But the amount of embellishment and worked onto this, I can kind of get it. But it's that piece that I find so many people will probably pick up as a very easy Christmassy autumnal night out piece. You can wear it with jeans and some little heels and it just dresses the whole look up completely. And with a nice dark lip, it's just like vampy, glam, sexy. I love it. Okay, the last two pieces in this whole haul are the two main pieces really because autumn for me is all about warm, beautiful coats. And I found two from Reese that I just totally fell in love with. Not worn these yet. I'm packing them for my trip next week. I don't really want to wear them beforehand, I want them to be kind of brand new. So here we go. First one, it's almost like a lavender blush pink with a stunning faux fur faux fur collar all around the collar. I mean, how gorgeous is that? And it's the most super soft, literally so super soft. Oh wait! <sighs> it's dry, it's dry people, don't <laughs> Oh my God, heart attack moment. It's dry, okay, it's dry. I literally just went like this on this. No, it's fine, thank goodness. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful. It's the most stunning fabric super soft. It's not overly thick either, so again it's a good layering piece, it's not going to be too ultimately heavy. And at the back it has this cool belted piece, just like a little extra feature. But generally it's quite simple and quite plain, just with the two buttons on the front. But it's just all about its collar. Absolutely beautiful. And the second piece, which I think is my absolute favourite piece, is... Wait, let me put it together so you can actually see it. This sheepskin jacket from Reese. If you've been following me for a while, you may have seen last year I had the grey version, all in sheepskin, and this year they brought one out in black. And it's much more of a longer length, so it almost extends down into the second length here. Silver zips and work on this, just to kind of add that pop, that bright silver pop against the super dark black, which is probably why I love it so much, it's just super black. But then the sort of sheepskin shielding goes all the way around the bottom, and the cuffs, and all the way. I mean, it even comes around the back of this collar. It's just gonna be that snug, amazing piece that I wear anytime when I wanna throw on a jacket, as like my one layer um, for those easy days. So even over like t-shirts, this would probably be warm enough to be honest. And I'm just totally head over heels smitten with this. I cannot wait to get wearing it. And that is it. Which was your favourite of these autumnal pieces? Let me know. And if you've spotted something incredible in the shops that I haven't really spoken about yet or, or I haven't featured in any way, then let me know. I know so many of you know my style so well now. The amount of times that people tweet me or, or something like that and say, you probably like this. And when I have a look, I'm like, oh my god, I love that. So I always love your recommendations, so let me know. If you like this video, please do give it a like right now, just down below. It makes me so happy to see you like my videos. And if you're brand new here, please please do hit the subscribe button. I'll leave the little button here on the screen. You can click that and it will subscribe you for two videos a week, Wednesday and Sunday, and it'd be amazing to have you back. Just thank you so much for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye.